Good evening. Good evening, Laura. How are you? Uh, hey, I'm really tired, Miss. <laughs> You're tired, ah? Uh, yeah, it's Friday. Yes. Uh, Friday. Really stressful today. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a stressful day, exactly. Let's see how are you. I'm I'm pretty good, thanks God. I'm better, so much better, and I'm happy to be here with you guys. Hi, thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Let me see. Always a pleasure, Patricia. There you are. Aha, uh -huh. Patricia. How are you? Good evening. Uh, fine, thank you. I am happy that is Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's true. How how are you going with with your? Then I think you told me yesterday uh, yeah. is more or less uh, okay it's getting oh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> don't worry thanks. but i'm happy thanks I'm for happy. asking <laughs> all right don't worry it's a pleasure let me see adriana how are you good evening good evening <laughs> Venía corriendo. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you don't look tired. No se ve cansado. No. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, because yo trabajo allá en, en, en Plaza Soyapango, por desde por allá. Yo vivo en Mexicano, entonces. Mm, yeah, you work quite far. <laughs> very far. Uh, but I'm here. Excellent. Very good. Excellent to see you in class. What about Ileana? How are you, Ileana? Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm very better. So much better. I'm happy to be here with you guys. <laughs> uh, okay. A pleasure to see you, Ileana. Let me see Jansi. How are you, Jansi? I am fine. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> All right. Welcome. I'm happy that you are fine. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being in class. All right. Let me share with you my PPT. Yeah. Check some things. Uh -huh. So much better. Uh, Friday, September 17, 2021. We are in section where we already finished section five. We are just giving some reviews and seeing what else can we find out about the topics that are in section five. Tell me about your family. And also, we are going to start the review about the exam today. Only we're going to start, right? Because I want you to make this the exam, the final exam, during the weekend, if you haven't yet. So you will have the weekend. And we are in class 15. Yay! We're just missing one class. That's it. You're ready to go to another level. OK, by the way, uh, please. Uh -huh. Mm, are you going to or are, are you will maybe no sé cómo se dice who's, who's going to who teach will you? be yes ahí está esa es la pregunta who's gonna teach you uh <laughs> I'm not sure I don't think it's going to be me because they usually change them so I don't think that it's going to be me so. <laughs> oh, I miss. yeah I I really but getting okay. getting to this group <laughs> it's pretty good oh, okay. and that's amazing all right <laughs> okay I think it's going to i don't think it's going to be me the teacher for this group maybe it's going to change to a man or to another woman i'm not sure <laughs> but still always good content right <laughs> and let me check but I, what I wanted to ask you, uh, in the case of Laura, Patricia, and Ileana, right? You already finished the platform. And did you already receive your diploma and everything? Yes. yes. Excellent. Very really good. Very really good. All right. So everything is fine. The other ones, let's just hurry up to get our diploma and you'll be fine. All right. Um, 
ya están matriculadas en el otro curso? Es decir, ¿ya se inscribieron para el otro curso? Yes, yes teacher. Excellent, very really good. So let's start quantifiers. Number one, when do we use quantifiers? Let's see who remembers. When we are not sure or we don't know the percentage of something. Exactly, very good, Eliana, that's correct. Indeed, it's correct. Mention at least, <laughs> I'm missing the T, <laughs> at least three quantifiers. Adriana? Uh, a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of, many, some. Excellent, and very good. Usually. usually, there you have it, thank you. What about you, Patricia? Mention three quantifiers. Um, all. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Nearly all, <laughs> most, not many, a few, few. Excellent. Very good, there you have it. All right, so just for you to recall, let's check this up. We have them in here, just uh, to recall or to remember. We use all when we are going on the top of the percentage, right? When we are not missing, not even one percentage, we say, oh, that's 100%. Then we have the guiding examples. These are the same examples that we saw yesterday. I just want you to take into account that we use a plural nouns with the quantifiers, right? That's like a must, that's mandatory to use plural nouns. Now, in this case, for example, the number one, the plural noun is men, right? If it was just one, it was man. In this case, is men. What's the plural noun of uh, number two, Laura? It's many. The plural noun? Many. Many is the quantifier. Aye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plural now is friends, <laughs> sorry. No, very Mister. good. Friends. Friends, exactly. Because if you say Mr. and uh, my sister and uh, Patricia, it's just one, it's not plural. That's singular, my sister. Yes. Uh -huh. So friends is the plural. Thank you. You're welcome. And it's a pleasure. What about number three, Adriana? What could it be the plural noun of number three? Teenagers. Teenagers, exactly. Very good. And what about number four, Jancy? What's the plural noun of number four? Friends. The plural noun, remember that plural, it's more than one. Friend is just one. Think. 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 Excellent, Jancy. Very good. Excellent. Things is the plural noun in this case. All right, everyone. Now, let's remember. Uh, Ileana, ¿usted estaba tomando notas? You were taking notes? No, no, okay. Let's remember. We have plural nouns. Uh, we have people. Of course, you don't need to add the S on people because people is already more than one. <laughs> All right. We have places, we have countries, books, dresses, things, times, years, and friends. Anything that you could make plural nouns will be correct. Now, wait. Now, this is for you to take into account. Um, we have the information in the green chart. Adriana, please read the green chart. Take into consideration that all quantifiers come before the plural nouns. Excellent, thank you. And let's see, we have something special that I want you to remind you about. Let's see, uh, Diane, hello there, Diane, welcome. Can you please read the information of the blue chart? 
We have one quantifier that comes before a verb, no one. Example, no one works more than 10 hours per day and no one thinks about global warming nowadays. Excellent, thank you, right? So there you have it, everyone. In this case, we're using a, the verb, we have the verb after the quantifier no, right? No. So uh, I'm going to stop in here just a minute because I'm seeing that some of you are taking note, right? Remember that yesterday we were really fast in this part. All right, now we get to your time. We get to your time, right? Let's put into practice what we have learned. Uh, Laura, please, instructions. Pra practice time. Instructions. Work individually. Create one sentence using quantifiers. Share your questions with class. Excellent, thank you. A question or sentence. a sentence? No, sentence. My okay. bad, my bad. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. <clears throat> Finished? Finish. Finish. All right. Finish. Excellent. Let's not wait any longer. Let's see. Um, let's start with Laura. Tell me your sentence. Nearly all preschool teachers are women. Exactly, you already get that's correct. And let's go with Eliana. Nearly all teenagers study from home. <laughs> exactly. Excellent. Already good. That's correct. 30. And Diane. 
A few women came to the party. Exactly, very good. That's correct. Well used. Um, Patricia? <clears throat> no one eats eight meals a day. All right, excellent. Thank you. Adriana? Usually people work very hard every day. Very good, excellent. That's correct. Um, let me see. Okay, now let's check this out in that sentence. Can you repeat that again, please, Adriana? Usually people work very hard every day. Excellent, very good. Yeah, I was I was thinking, what's the plural now? <laughs> now I remember these people. <laughs> yeah, th those are mental breakdowns, everyone. <laughs> we have them quite a lot lately. <laughs> mental <laughs> breakdown. All right, thank you, Adriana. Excellent. And Jancy, let's check yours. Um, no one can swim better than me. Or than me. Excellent, very really good. Yeah, actually, Kenny is an auxiliary verb, so that's correct. Thank you. No one can swim better than me, or better than I. Better than I. Uh, let me see. What about Nestor? Um. No, no lo entendí mucho, teacher, pero no sé si, si, si esta sirve. I, I'll have a lot, I have a lot of uh, money. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, a lot of money. Now, in this case, you might be asking, uh, but money is not plural now, right? But in this case, uh, it becomes plural because you don't know how much exactly. You just know that you have a lot. It could be a ton of money or it could be just a small amount of money, right? It's going to depend. So it does apply indeed, right? Okay. Excellent, yes. All right, everyone, pretty good practice time. Now, quantifiers. I was searching for some information for you because yesterday I told you, hey, we're not able to translate all of them, right? From English to Spanish, that's quite not, it's not because it's not correct, but sometimes it could get messy, <laughs> like confused, right? So that's why I brought this information. And when do we use a little or a few, Adriana? A little uncountable nouns. Mm -hmm. A few. Countable nouns, examples. He has a little money left. He has a few dollars left. All right, excellent, thank you. Let me check. Uh, when do we use much or many, Jancy? Uh, one example. No, I need the information of much. Uh -huh. Uh, when do we use much uh, pleca? How do you say? Flash? No, slash. Flash. Slash many. Much uh, and uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. Many countable nouns. Repeat nouns. No. Mm -hmm. No. No. Examples. How much money how you got? Uh, how many dollars have you got? All right. Thank you. Repeat after me, Jancy. Examples. 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 Excellent. Very really good. All right, everyone. You may copy as well this information if you want. Get into to your mind and also the references, which are the examples, right?
finished? Yes. Yes, right. finished. Excellent. Yes, teacher. All right. Then we have, when do we use some or any? Let's see, Ileana. Uh, when do we use some, any? Some affirmative sentences, countable and uncountable nouns. Any question in negative sentences, countable and uncountable nouns. Example, there's some cheese. There aren't any cheese. Mm -hmm. Now, in this case, you might be wondering uh means but a few slides ago you told you told us that we have to use quantifiers before um plural nouns right now in this case when you are talking about cheese we don't know how much cheese it is right it could be a certain amount or it could be just a small amount of cheese it's not telling you a slice of cheese or something else. Keep into your mind this information that I'm going to transmit to you. Sometimes, depending on the context, things are going to change, right? So don't always be like, but this is gotta be this way. Yeah, you're right. It's gotta be this that way. But as everything in life, sometimes things get another way, right? And this is a clear example of that. There's some cheese. We don't know in that case if it's a lot of cheese or uh, we don't know if it is a big amount of cheese or just one small piece of cheese, right? Keep into the, your mind that. And now we have exercises. Choose the correct answer. You gotta choose between some or any, right? And uh, well, I'm going to make that exercise. Please complete these exercises as well. We only have three. Okay, so for number one, what do you got? What do you got in number one, Diane? There aren't any car parks in the center of Oxford. Excellent, thank you. What about number two, Patricia? Eating out is Expensive here. There aren't any cheap restaurants. Excellent. Very good. And the last one, number three. Adriana, what do you have? There are some expensive new flats near the river. Exactly. Very good. All right, everyone. Thank you. Now, let's practice with these ones. I know they seem a lot, but it, you just gotta write down, for example, number one is 
a few, number two, a little, right? You don't need to write down the whole sentence if you don't want, but if you want, you are able to, right? But let's work first with a few and a little. Miss, we complete with a few and or a little. Uh -huh, exactly. You've got to choose between a few or a little. Oh, okay. Thank you. In this one, yeah. Finish. Excellent, very good. Finish. Excellent. Finish. All right, very good, very good. Now, we may start as well. Let's see. Um, let's see, Patricia, what do you have for number one? The number one, there is a few water in the bottle. All right, thank you. What do you have for number one, Laura? There is a little water in the bottle. All right, excellent, thank you. <laughs> it seems tricky, right? A little uncountable nouns. A few countable nouns, right? Let's just keep that into the mind, into your mind, right? Excellent. So in this case, it's there is a little water in the bottle, right? That's the correct one. What about number two? Um, let me see, Ileana. Number two, there is a little milk in the glass. Right, excellent, thank you. We are not able to count how much milk do we have, right? It's almost impossible. <laughs> and, sure. uh -huh. I think, 
about the in the bottle we um, we can know how much water is in the bottle a little um half liter o sea, about this i i use a few <laughs> ah based on that basado en eso based on that yeah yes you're right but If onzas, you know, litros, medio litro, un vaso. O sea, es algo cuantificable, pero bueno. Sí, pensé. Ajá, you're right. I see your point, actually. I see your point. And you might be true as well. But remember that in this case, according to the information that we just saw, it's telling you that I feel it's countable now. And you said it, what you said is correct. But in this case, we don't have a specific amount of water, right? Okay. We're not sure how much water. Eliana? Okay. Uh -huh. um, countable is not the same um, medida? No. It could be it could be guide or lead to that. For what Patricia said, it makes sense totally, actually. Because you may say one liter or less than one liter, you can have it. But in this case, For since my point of view, I believe that you can have both options, right? Okay. You can have both options. If you see it from okay. that point of view, as you mentioned, Ileana and Patricia as well, that you can have liters, two liters, three liters, it's okay. You're right to use it. But if we don't know exactly the amount, we must as well use a little water, right? For example, okay. if you say a little bit of water, there you have it. There's no other way to say it, a little bit of water. Como un poquito of water, right? Now, let's see. Number three, Diane. There are a few apples on the table. Excellent, very good. There are a few apples on the table. We are able to count those apples. Let me see, Mary, number four. And the number four, there are a few bananas in the pie, in the basket. Excellent, very good, thank you. Number five, and let me see, Adriana. There is a little pollution in the city. Uh -huh. Exactly, very good. Once again, We're not able to count how many, uh, now listen about this, because you might tell me as well, Miss, but we can count the pollution according to the registers of scientifics. Yes, you're right, we can. Well, they can, I can't. <laughs> Yo no sé cómo contarla, pero los científicos, they do it, right? Ellos sí saben cuánta polución hay. Lo podemos leer en un montón de artículos de global warming. Ellos te dicen cuántos son los porcentajes. But we don't know right now. So in this case, it's correct to use a little, right? Because we're not sure. Let's see, and Nestor, what do you have for letter, for number six? They aren't a little teacher in the school. Um, okay, thank you. Let's see, Jancy, what you got for number six? Okay, let's see, Laura, what do you have for number six? Oh, yes, there you are. There are... <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was talking to you, Laura, but then Jancy came back again. So let's give her the shot, okay? Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. There are a few teachers in the school. There are a few teachers in the school. Yes, indeed, we are able to count how many teachers do we have. We can say we have five, uh, four, around. we're not sure. That's why we're saying a few. Uh, let's see, Jancy, what do you have for number seven? Uh, there is, uh, there is few salt in the soup. All right, 
thank you. Now, if you think about it, if, just give me one second. If you think about it, uh, we have some special spoons that they are used to measure the amount of salt or sugar or flour that you want to use. I don't know if you have seen those spoons. They are small, some of them, they are big. Hay ciertas cucharas medidoras that you can use it for that. So if we're using one of those, we are able to say a few, uh, there is a few salt in the soup or by any chances you can say there is a little salt in the soup. Okay. Uh -huh. When you when you use uh, a little, maybe when you use a finger. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Exactly. Or when you also taste the soup and you say, mm, "There's there's a little salt in this soup, right?" So there you have it. Exactly. Thank you. Now, everyone, let's work. Let's keep working. Let's keep practicing because. Um, you already finished with your entire platform. So I need you to practice still with this, all right? So we have some or any. Teacher. Yes. Eh, no aparezco siempre en el video. Él solito se me desactiva, oye, pero aquí estoy. Ah, ok, ya, yeah, don't worry. Yo sé que ahí está porque ahí se ve su nombre, so don't worry. Ok. Finish. Excellent, very good. Let's get started. So what do you have for number one, Diane? There isn't any salt in the box. Exactly, very good, thank you. There isn't. We got a negative one 
So we might as well use any. Number two, Eliana. Is there any meal in the glass? Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good, because you are asking, so you are able to use any. That's correct, very good. Adriana, number three. There are some students in the class. Mm -hmm. Exactly, some. We don't know how much of, how many of them, but we know that there are some. Exactly. Um, let me see, Patricia, number four. Number four. There aren't any doctors in the hospital. Excellent, thank you very much. We might as well, as we don't have a, um, a positive, we have a negative, so we might as well use any. That's correct, indeed. Number five, Nestor. There is not. Um, there isn't. Uh, there isn't uh, any oil in the in the bowl bottle bottle mm -hmm. excellent there isn't any oil in the bottle thank you mary number six are there some leaves in the soap okay now uh, thank you mary let's see what do you have for number uh, six Eliana. And the number six, are there any? Because it's interrogative. Mm -hmm. Exactly, indeed. It's interrogative and we also have lions, which is in plural, right? Mm -hmm. So we are able to use any. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, don't worry. Aquí estamos haciendo un análisis, no se preocupe, right? We're trying yeah, to. Yeah, no, you have to have the sign of the interrogation. Yeah. Ah, okay. Don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> Jocelyn, number seven. Are there any tigers in the park? Mm -hmm. Tigers. Tigers. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Really good. That's correct. One, one, one more time. Where do you see an interrogative? or a question mark, so we are able to use any. And let me see, Laura, number eight. There are some computers in the room. Exactly, thank you. And Jansi, number nine. Number nine, uh, there is an any orange juice. Exactly, very good, thank you. All right, everyone, very good practice. I think that we're becoming stronger and we're learning a lot. Now, you may ask yourself, Miss, but we already practiced in the platform. <laughs> Why do we have to practice in here? Remember, Adriana, you have a question? Yes, Miss, only, uh, I wanted to take a, a picture. Ah, yes, of, of this or? Well, the, after, after this. Uh, before. Adriana, Adriana. Uh, See? ¿Sí? You can move the, the pictures of all uh, another sites in your screen. Uh-huh, yeah, she's telling you that you can move uh, this part of the pictures of the camera that we have. Pero lo que usted quiere es que regrese, ¿verdad? That's what you want? Yes. Uh -huh. This part or the other one? Uh, after this. Be before? Before, sorry, before. Oh, before, yeah, this one. Yes. This one, yes. Yeah, Patricia, she wanted to take a, a picture, don't take it about me. <laughs> Let me move, everybody. <laughs> All right. 
Thank you. All right, excellent. Very good. Yo viendo la cámara aquí enfrente, ay no. Así ya no, Adriana. All right, excellent. Um, let's move on, everyone. Let's practice our reading skill. Um, let me tell you this comment. I have noticed that you have improved whew, a lot in your speaking. And I'm proud of that because it means how much you've been pushing yourself to do it. And that's magnificent, right? But we still gotta have some reading skills, right? Remember that we have different abilities or skills when we're learning a second language. We have speaking, we have reading, and we have writing skills and also listening, which those we're not so able to work them in here, but we're still gonna try. All right, let me make this bigger for you. I'm going to start with uh, Ileana. Please give me the honor of reading the first paragraph. Okay. American families are changing. One important change is the most married women, women, mm -hmm. women yes. now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work, read about the Morales family. Excellent. Jody. Oh, yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, let me check. I'm going to have Mary. Okay, Mary, listen to this. Ileana, she already read the first paragraph. So I'm pretty sure you were paying attention. So read again the first paragraph, please. Judy and Steven Moran. First paragraph, Mary, please. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. American family are changing one important, changing in the most yeah. married woman. Now work on side the home. What, what happened when married parents work reading about the Morali family? All right, repeat after me, read. Three. Uh -huh, excellent. Very good. And let me see. Change. Change. Mm -hmm, exactly. Changing is in progression. A change is in simple present. Are changing. Okay. Uh -huh. Are changing. Está correcto. Pero aquí tiene que decir uh, um, change. Okay. Change. Change. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Mary. Patricia, go on to the second paragraph, please. El primero había practicado. Ah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Jody and Steve Morales have three children. Children. Josh, 12. Ben, 9. And Emily, 6. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrat um, administrator. <laughs> yeah, the family needs the money and Judy, um, I had my sombra, and I Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Very good, Patricia, excellent. We're doing good. Now I'm going to have Nestor. Or right, Nestor. So Patricia, she already read the second paragraph, and I'm assuming that you were paying attention. So let's read second paragraph again. Um, you, Judy, uh, Steve Morales have three children. Josh, uh, um, Josh, twelve. 12, uh, Ben Knight, and Emily Six. Steven is, comfort, uh, is a computer programmer. Uh, this year, uh, Judy is working again as the hospital administration. Uh, the family uh, needs uh, the money. Um, Judy likes her job. Everything uh, is going well about their there are also uh, some problems. All right, excellent, Nestor, repeat after me. And um, likes. 
Perdón, ¿dónde está? Judy likes. Ah, Judy likes. Judy likes. No, like. likes. Likes. No sé cómo la es. <ríe> likes. Likes. Ah, need. Likes. Need. 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 Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Nestor. We're doing pretty well. Excellent. Now let's go with Diane. Read uh, the third paragraph, uh -huh. <laughs> please. Now that Judith is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Let's see, Jancy, can you please read paragraph number two? Mm, number one in this case, because we have it at first. Now, now that Judy is working, Stevie has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Excellent, thank you. Laura, read the second paragraph, please. El primero había practicado. <laughs> 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 No, mentira, mentira. Solo son dos okay. por cada <laughs> Okay. Judy loves her job, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has the work on Saturdays. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Excellent. Very good. Ooh, couple issues. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Laura. Let's get to... Jocelyn, read the second paragraph, please, Judy. Okay. Judy loves her work, but she feels too careless and busy. She also worries busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturday so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Excellent, thank you. Adriana, the third paragraph, please. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick, to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Excellent, thank you. Ileana, read the third paragraph, please. Emily is having a great time in the after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Want to leave. Excellent, very really good. Okay. Good as well. Let's go with, um, let me check. I'm going to have. Patricia, paragraph number four. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Ben School doesn't have an after school program. Right now, she's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Mm -hmm. We're going down. Excellent, Patricia. Let's see, Diane, paragraph number four. Unfortunately, Ben school doesn't have any after school program. Right now he's spending more, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Excellent, thank you. And the last paragraph, Laura, please. Josh is enjoying his essay. Sí, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Sure. Household, household chores. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Household chores. And Mary, the last paragraph, please. John is enjoying his new film after school. He is playing his music, his music louder and spending more time on the 
on the phone. He, uh, he is also doing uh, a school short. A few short. Household shorts. House shorts. No, household. House or shorts. Shorts. Excellent. There you have it. Thank you. Now, the reason or the main purpose why I was asking you to read it twice, for example, one of you was reading first and the other one the second time. Remember that as everything in life, we can learn from one from each other, right? So when you listen and you're paying attention, look at this, check out, take a look at this. I know you spend your time very busy all day long. Maybe you're a mother, uh, you're a mother and a father in once, or you have to work. You've got to do plenty of things. So I know that when you are in the platform making the exercises, it could be a little harder for you to, to practice your reading or even your listening, right? Because sometimes we just want to fill in those exercises and that's it, right? But it's good when you do this in class, you're learning from your classmates because you're listening first to them, right? So that's why I did this activity. Thank you so much. Now, um, I want to share this with you. We have a, this first part of the midterm. It's not midterm exam. It's the final exam, all right? So we have the listening part. And Ileana, please read the instructions in English. Okay. Instruction, listen to the conversation and select the correct answers. Answer. Excellent, very good, thank you. So when you play to the audio, you gotta play it once, then twice, because it could be a little bit harder to understand it at first. But I have some notes, some, yeah, some writings that I made from the audios, and we're gonna share them today. Just let me look for them, ah, here they are. Okay, so for number one, Laura, tell me the correct answer with the whole sentence. Catherine has brothers, Catherine has seven brothers and sisters. Excellent. There you have it. That's the correct one. And I have it in here. Okay, so you can have it. Thank you. So she mentioned in the audio, and I want to be very clear with this. She says, I have four sisters, and she mentions their names, right? Then she says some things. Uh, then she said, oh, she mentioned some things about his brothers. So what you gotta do in there is to make the account, right? She won't say, I have seven brothers. You gotta make the account. You gotta analyze the audit, basically, right? So that was just a quick review. Let's go with number two, Patricia. Nowadays, Mark is living with a friend. Excellent, very good. He established in the audio that he's not living at home, right? And that he doesn't have a wife. So we are not able to think that he's already married because he says at the end of the audio that he's going to get married. Now, let me see. But he says that he's living with his friend, Jim. He's an old friend. So you got it pretty clear in that out. Not going around, he said it straight to the point. Now, let's go with number three. Um, Diane, please. Sharon usually, pardon, Sharon usually goes to the gym three times a week. Exactly, indeed. And uh, let's see, I want you, my dear students, to make the analysis of this one. What happened in that audit? Los que ya hicieron el examen, the ones that did already the exam. What happened in that audit specifically, number three? Does she says, I go to the gym three days? Don't remember. <laughs> the, so it's she, not clear. She, she says that she's, she's mentioned uh, the days when, when uh -huh. she goes to the gym. 
Exactly, indeed. Very good, everyone. And I saw that three of you opened your, your microphone and wanted to express that. Excellent. That's correct. Those are the kind of analysis that we gotta make. A listening comprehension is really important because there is a specific exam called the TOEFL exam, and those are for the ones that want to become a teacher or wants to improve their English. And in those exams, you realize how important is the listening comprehension. So it's very good that you have it because it's hard to develop. Desarrollar una listening comprehension is hard to develop. <laughs> and it's good that you have it. Number four, let me see. Uh, Jocelyn, what's the answer for number four? Uh, some of the men's younger brother and sister are working around. Mm -hmm. Now, in this audio, let's not lie. It was difficult to understand what was the real answer, right? Because he mentions a lot of details and facts, but at the end you realize that the only answer that we'll be able to be is our working abroad, right? There you have it. This is the short, the short review that we're going to have for this part. On Monday, which is the last class of the course, we're going to have the review of the other parts of the exam. I hope that you are able to finish the exam, the ones that uh, haven't had the opportunity yet to finish the exam. Please work on it on the weekend. If you have any help, you might ask me as well. And that was pretty much it for today's class, all right? It was a pleasure to see you. Have a great night and see you on Monday. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good